What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is Sunday and I usually don't come to the gym on Sundays, but my anxiety has been a little high today and I just feel very jittery and like I can't relax at home. So I'm coming here and I'm going to get those feel good endorphins running through me so that way I can relax before starting, you know, my work clinical week again because that has been so exhausting. Um, my days have been like 12 hour long days and then I try to come home and, you know, make dinner and come to the gym. And I've actually been waking up at like four in the morning to come to the gym. Um, so that way when I get home, I can just, you know, be with my dog and um, not be with my husband right now because he's away on army stuff, unfortunately, but it's nice to just come home and be able to relax rather than come home and go to the gym. And that way I'm starting my day with like those happy feelings, you know, and I feel a lot better um, walking into my first patient's room after working out in the morning because I'm awake and I'm ready for the day. Um, so yeah, today we are gonna be doing a bit of whole body because I've already had my workout week this week. So I've already done everything. So we're gonna do whole body, but to switch it up a little bit, we are just going to be using dumbbells. So dumbbell only whole body workout to get a little creative with our workouts because I do rely on the squat bar a lot. And I think this will be helpful for those who travel a lot and you're going to a hotel that only has dumbbells, doesn't have a squat bar, or if you go to a gym um, that you're not familiar with and they don't have a squat bar, this is the workout for you. All right, so the rain just let up, so I'm gonna head in. Let's do it. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and get into this workout. We are going to start off with a superset. So that is two exercises kind of targeting the same general muscles. We are going to start with dumbbell deadlifts. Then we will move into dumbbell straight leg deadlifts. I turned here just so you guys could see my form from a different angle. I do not expect you to turn, obviously. After this, you'll go straight into those straight leg deadlifts. And then we are going to be staying here for 10 repetitions each exercise. You want to make sure that with your straight leg deadlifts that your feet are relatively close together. I like to do one to two inches apart. That is where I feel the most in my glutes and my hamstrings. You want to make sure to keep those dumbbells as close to your body as possible in order to feel it in your hamstrings rather than feel it in your low back. So here I'm trying to display what our next motion is going to be. You want your thumbs pointing out for the entire exercise. You're going to be doing a reverse fly into shoulder extension with dumbbells. So here I am with the dumbbells. My thumbs are still pointed out. This is not going to be a superset because it's kind of two exercises in one. You will reverse fly into shoulder extension. That is one repetition. You're going to be staying here for a total of 10 repetitions. With the shoulder extension, you want to just kind of imagine your hands coming back towards your hips. So right here I fly out and then my hands are coming back towards my butt. Next, we will move into our second superset, which is going to be sumo deadlifts into a back row. So you're gonna deadlift down, bend at the hips, row up, and then come up. That is going to be one rep, and we are gonna be staying here for 10 repetitions. Since you keep that bent over position while rowing, it puts so much tension in your hamstrings. You guys are gonna feel this so good. To our second exercise of this superset, we are going to do curtsy lunges with a shoulder press. So you go down into the curtsy lunge and as you are extending your knee, you're going to push up into that shoulder press. We are going to be staying here for 12 repetitions each side. Our 
next exercise, this is not going to be a superset. You're going to do a dumbbell fly into a bicep curl. This actually super kills. So drop the weight a little bit and be prepared because your um, shoulders and your biceps are going to be on fire. We're going to be staying here for 12 repetitions. Lastly, we are going to end with a combo of three exercises. This is an awesome combo of just three exercises that you can do while laying down in one position, obviously with one dumbbell, and I actually got a great burn from it. So we're gonna start with a lat pullover into a chest press, then go into a skull crusher. That is one rep. We are going to be staying here for 10 repetitions. Alrighty guys, that is going to be it for this workout. I tried to be as creative as possible and hit the whole bod. And I know I didn't specifically like single out abs, but if you're activating your core throughout the entire workout, which you should be, you'll feel a burn in your abs, which I did. Um, yeah, so that's about it. I feel a million times better just as I thought I would, even though it's pouring outside and I'm pretty wet right now. Um, I just feel great. I feel so much better. I feel like I can go conquer tomorrow and conquer this week and go home and meal prep. You never ever ever regret actually working out. Once you're done and it's over with, you never stinking regret it because you just feel so great. So that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If so, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss a workout with me again. All right, I'll see you guys next time.